Moreover, a unique co-benefits approach for both food production and the prevention of global warming has been launched. Makoto Takazawa, a farmer in Ichihara in Chiba Prefecture, erected 348 solar panels in a 750 square meter field. While generating electricity, he is growing crops with the sunlight that enters through the gaps between the panels. As the sunlight is shared by farming and power generation, we call it solar sharing. Solar sharing, which simultaneously handles food production and power generation, is a new farming style created in Japan. The panels reduce the amount of sunlight falling on the crops, but since plants never use all the light they receive for photosynthesis, it doesn't affect them much. Direct sunlight has an intensity of about 100,000 lux. The light saturation point for vegetables is about 50,000 lux, so they don't need more than that. Actually, too much can be harmful, causing them to burn. For example, taro needs lots of water, but it evaporates very rapidly. The panels create a suitable amount of shade to reduce the evaporation, and as a result, the yield of taro here has increased compared to what it was without the panels. Solar sharing allows you to use sunlight efficiently for power generation. Takazawa calculates the number of panels needed for growing vegetables based on their light saturation points and uses about 30% of the sunlight for power generation. The cost of installing the panels was about $100,000, but Takazawa is expecting to cover the cost within 10 years. The amount of power generated from the solar panels spread across this entire field is about 35 kilowatt hours. Selling the electricity to a power company will bring him about $15,000 a year. A researcher has calculated that if solar sharing were disseminated to around 65% of the fields in Japan, there is the potential to be able to supply all the nation's electricity needs for home use without emitting any CO2. Takazawa also says that because solar sharing is relatively cheap in terms of construction costs and the electricity it produces can be sold, it would not be difficult to introduce it in developing countries. Up to now, Japan has just been buying oil for energy purposes from abroad, and Japan's rate of food self-sufficiency is only around 40%, so we have had to buy lots of foodstuffs from other countries as well. But in the future, as far as possible, I think we should make efforts to produce our own energy and food. And even though the population worldwide will continue to increase, I believe we can create a Japanese style that's sustainable and make ourselves stronger in tackling climate change. Global warming is accelerating and affecting everyone on Earth. Advanced countries must make full use of the sixth technological revolution, not only for the benefit of their own nation, but for the benefit of the whole world. That is what economist Jeffrey Sachs stresses strongly. First, in any time of disruption, who gets hurt? The poor people. The poor people have no protection. If uh, rich people are in a drought, well, they buy food from elsewhere. If poor people are in a drought, they go hungry. 
But the other part of justice is justice towards our children and future generations. Uh, when one generation says, we own the earth, we don't have to care about the later generations. And there is a saying that many people use that we don't actually own the earth, we borrow it from our children. Uh, now, if you take that kind of economic justice or environmental justice, then you say, we don't have the right to ruin the climate. We have to protect the climate for the children and later generations. We have broadcast five programs in this Tackling Climate Change series. Our planet has reached a critical moment. However, if we earnestly gather the wisdom of seven billion people and use it to develop technologies and ideas, there is still the chance to find solutions. That's what the experts have told us. The time has come for the whole world to cooperate sincerely to create a sustainable international community for future generations.